Welcome back everyone to more of our gameplay series of Farm Manager 21. And in today's video, we are going to do our very first field. Now this is going to be very exciting for me because, well, I haven't done any field work in this game since the previous game, Farm Manager 18. It has been a long time. So I'm going to make probably a lot of mistakes, uh, but we're going to work our way through it and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I had mentioned previously when we were doing our wind farm, that I was saving this area maybe for uh, to put some crops and some fields in and that is what I want to do right now. So I don't know about the sizes and I don't know how this is all going to fit into our grid but uh, we're going to make it work whatever it takes. So the first thing is I want to put our fields over here to start with and then I want to try to put some of our additional buildings in here uh, worker housing and uh, we're gonna need equipment storage that kind of stuff uh, over here probably barns you name it we're gonna need a lot of stuff now before I put down these fields I will let you know that there is a lot of uh, science behind how big to make your fields I'm not going to get into that I'm simply gonna make our fields the biggest it will let me and we're going to go from there. So I'm not going to worry about the maximum efficiency and the field sizes and all that. So right now, this is the biggest field it will let me have. And the reason I say it that way is because this field size is based on where we are with our farmhouse. So we can upgrade our building. In fact, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's upgrade our building. Uh, and you can see, as we upgrade it, it gives us access to more and more stuff and bigger and bigger fields. So right now, this is perfectly fine. Now money is no object. We've got a little over six million right now. And for the time being, we're gonna let this go at regular speed instead of fast forward. But I figured this is a pretty good time to start doing some field work uh, because number one, I haven't done it in forever. We're talking years. And we're fairly close to the beginning of spring. You can see here, winter starts in 200 and 53 days so all is good there and we're going to start with grass a very basic field uh, a field that we're not going to have to plant year after year uh, let's see okay that's going to give us 76 by 24 meters uh, 0.182 hectares all right and it's telling me how many people we will need uh, i believe that's if we are going to do it manually but i'm not sure all right so before i forget Let's go ahead and put a road here. Uh, and I'm just going to try to keep the grid there for right now. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and tell it we want. I'm not familiar with this interface very much. But we're going to click on some things and see what we can make happen. Now here makes sense. Yeah, there we go. All right. We want grass here. So grass is going to make all the sense in the world because, of course, we're using that as feed for several things there. All right, grass. So of course, we're going to need some grass seed. Uh, and before we get too far along for grass seed, we are going to need somewhere to put that. So let's go ahead and do uh, warehouses. How about a silo? That's for grain. Uh, we're going to need, yeah, yeah, there we go. Warehouse, seeds and plants. And then we're also going to need a barn, of course, for our grass. So let's go ahead and put these down. Uh, let's see, can I fit these on either side of one another? I can't remember about the size. It's been a few days since I've been able to play this game, so I'm, I'm ready to get back to it. Uh, in fact, yikes. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put this right here. Okay, and I guess, well, obviously we got plenty of room that we have not used just yet. All right, so let's go ahead and unfortunately I can't zoom out and really show you that, but going under under the uh, the buy more land interface just shows you. I mean, there's land everywhere, and of course we still got all of this land we haven't used yet, and plenty over in this area. And just to give you an idea of where we are right now, this is where we've just put down our field, and these are the the barn and uh, storage that we've got under construction so we've got plenty of land and who knows maybe we'll use some of this land for more fields in the future depending on how this goes if i make a real mess of this then we might not want to do that also 
Uh, I know we're going to need room for, let's see, garages. We've got two. We've got parking. Okay, that's for the bigger stuff. All right, that makes sense for your combines and who knows what else. Uh, and then we've got a garage that says has six parking spots. Increases the durability of the machines by 30%. Okay, I kind of like that. All right, let's put these guys. Can I fit this? I know I cannot. Okay, so far we are not having any luck. Um, and it doesn't seem to have... Okay, I don't see a radius for this. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Can I put another one, like right there? Because we're going to need several pieces of equipment. And let's just go ahead and put some of these down, if I can. Are you going to let me get by with this? Yes. Okay, awesome. Okay, awesome. That also tells me that, uh, where was that? Veterinary clinic, mechanic's garage. There we go. We're going to need a mechanic. And I believe we can fit him. Oh, can we not fit him? Hey, well, no, we cannot. Uh, he is most definitely way too big for that. Uh, okay. So I believe that should be pretty good right here. My first thought was to put him right up back over here. But you can see we've definitely got a sphere of influence there that we need to stay within. So how about we just do this? How about we just put him right there? And that means if we do put more fields over here, then we'll try to put some equipment sort of right in this area, which will be within his sphere of influence. All right, so we've got two storage and then one big storage for parking or for the big items there. Then we've got our mechanic there. Uh, we do need storage or home for workers. Now, here's where I'm a little bit confused. What type of worker do we need? Um, seasonal workers, I believe, and I could be terribly wrong about this, and we might, we're going to find out pretty soon, but I believe the seasonal workers are only for manual work on the fields, not if we're using machines. So I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, permanent housing down. Is this going to be a good move? I have absolutely no idea. Realistically, no idea. But we're going to find this out. All right, so what do we need? All right, so obviously we've got some alerts here. Uh, what is this? Irrigation system for 18 grand. Yes, absolutely. Put that in there. So maybe we won't have to worry about the uh, water level of the field. That will be very nice. Uh, what about this? Can I do anything? I cannot do anything with that. Okay, I can't click on those. Let's click on the air. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. So we've got field one is grass. There's our size. Uh, let's see, spring. Okay, we're going to need to purchase a lot of this. So, okay, that tells them to go ahead and do that. Uh, okay, this is going to be what? That's our water. And this, I'm assuming, is the health of the crops. That looks familiar from the first game. Then we get to allow manual work. Okay, we do not want that. I want them to use machines that we're going to purchase. So, yes, that makes sense. Okay, now we've got a whole bunch of stuff to purchase. All right, so let's go start getting some of this stuff. The Riga tractor and the little plow. All right. No problem. Oh, there's the plow immediately. All right, we got some options here. Do we want it new? We can get various stages of used to try to save some money. Uh, it's only 404, and again, we've got millions of dollars right now, so I'm not going to worry about this too much. All right, so the little plow. Let's buy that. Uh, we want to put it in garage number one. Uh, I'm going to spin it around here to face the door. The end we're going to need to connect with. I don't think that matters, but when possible, I will do that. Uh, we need our tractor, uh, our Riga tractor. There we go. And 36 grand. Only option is new. All right, we'll grant that. Now, we could lease it. Um, but again, I'm not worried about that. Let's just go ahead and spend the money. 36 grand. And we're going to try, where is it? Yeah, let's put it in garage number one. Okay, there we go. All right, what's next? Uh, and I can't get to the field. Okay, sure enough. All right, it shows that we've got that. All right, we've got our cultivator and our fertilizer spreader. Ooh, wait a minute now. Are there options for this? Now, the reason I'm saying, no, there's not. 
The reason I'm saying that is because we are we have slurry and manure already on the farm that I would like to use. I don't know if we can use it though. All right, so let's get the cultivator and the seed drill. Let's go ahead and get those. And let's go ahead and do this. Where is the cultivator? There it is. And let's buy this. We want it in garage number one, I think. Okay, yeah, there we go. Let's flip it around. All right. Back to it. And you can see that filled up garage number one. All right, now we need a seed drill. There we go. And again, I'm getting the new versions of all of this. Let's go ahead and buy this. And I guess we're going garage two here. Okay, back to it. Uh, I want to see if I hire somebody and I want somebody who is good at there we go. At good at plants. Uh, and also machines. That would be great. Can we find somebody with that? Plants and machines. Okay, I'm not really seeing that. Well, that's no good. But plants is going to be the best thing, I, I believe. Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, well, uh, I see our, our options here. Allow manual work and allow to use machines. How do I want to do this? I guess I'll go with plants. And... All right, let's, let me choose the house. Okay, where is the most recent one? Is that the one? Yeah, that's what I want right there. Okay, so this guy, here we go. Do not do manual work. Uh, and we wanna max you out there. Now he's going to the garage. Okay, well that's a good sign. Okay, so he's working on the field. And as of right now, we have no more error messages. Okay, so I guess that means he can do the first step. So they're going to let me know. Yeah, here we go. This is what I want. All right, so he's going to plow. Good. So permanent workers use the machines. All right, we're good to go there. So what else do we need? All right, we're going to need to purchase some of these things. I'm sure, again, I'm sure it's going to let us know these things over time. All right, but right now, I will. He's moving. He's going to get the stuff. He's going to start plowing the field. And we need to get some grass seed. Do we have grass seed right now? All right, so if I go under sell, uh, we do not. Okay, I didn't think I'd already purchased that, but uh, you just never know. So let's buy. Uh, let's do grass seed. There we go. And again, I'm not using the organic. Who knows? We might make tons more money if I did the organic stuff. But I'm just going to stick with the basic. Um, I have no idea how much of this we need. Uh, how about, let's just do a thousand, I guess. You can see it's not going to cost very much money. Uh, so, yeah, let's buy that. And seeds will stay in here. Uh, let's see. All right, he is, yeah, he's getting right to work. This is my guy here. And we'll just keep an eye on him. So right now, he's currently working on the field. He's got the plow. And it's telling me which stage he's at. I'm trying to, again, get to this because I'm not exactly sure. Uh, that's, that's fertilizer, isn't it? Uh, we need to get him a fertilizer. But what I want to do, let's try something. How about we do that? Uh, under trade, let's do uh, slurry. Uh, it doesn't call it slurry, does it? It calls it something else, and I can't remember. Uh, exactly what that is. What does it call? Let's just scroll down through here. Oh, here's one. Okay, let's take away this. Let's stop selling this. Now, this doesn't make us much of any money anyway. It was mo mostly just to get it out of the way. All right, where is the rest? There we go. So, well, let's make sure. Okay, they do both pull up under manure. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the auto sell on both of these, at least for the time being, because I really want him to use. Uh, this is going to be, yeah, all right, cultivating is going to be his next thing. I really don't want to buy that fertilizer spreader because I don't want to use store-bought commercial fertilizer. I want to use what we already have. 
Uh, also, yeah, the trailer with water we shouldn't need either. All right, let's... I'm going to take a risk here. Again, we got 6.2 million. Let's just take a risk. Uh, let's look at... Uh, where is it? I'm sure it's going to be under here somewhere. All right, there's our fertilizer spread. Yeah, here we go. Slurry tank. All right, does it tell me anything that would exclude it from working on grass? It does not. I'm going to buy one. Uh, and garage two, maybe? Okay, yeah, that should fit nicely in there. All right, let's go back. And, of course, you probably noticed the manure spreader in here as well. If we read, all right, I don't see anything. Uh, can we put it in garage two? Yes, we can. All right, so that gives us two options for hopefully we'll have at least one of those available uh, over time as this uh, the slurry and the manure build up. Uh, we'll see though. Okay, what's next? Uh, it says not enough staff. No, here we go. Here we go. All right, so our guy, all right, now he's got the cultivator. So the next thing is going to be the fertilizer. We're about to find out if he's going to use this. Uh, there is, yep, there's a sprayer. Now, we will need the sprayer. for That's going to be for the bugs and stuff. All right, so we need a sprayer and a mower. Let's go ahead and grab those. Are we already out of space? We are. Yikes. Okay, uh, let's go ahead... Man, oh man, that didn't take long at all. Uh, where can we put this? Where can we put this? That is no good at all. We have like, yeah, this this setup is just not working. All right, I think uh, if I get over there, I'm going to be out of this guy's influence. All right, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and put this one right here. Not necessarily what I would prefer to do, I'll admit that. And we're going to try to put this down right here. Okay, so let's get another one up here. I'm just going to, I'm not going to play around with this. I'm going to do this. All right, let's put it right there. Let's move our gravel road. Right there. Okay, for the time being, because what I plan on doing is maybe putting another couple right here and just making it a roundabout uh, sort of right there and all within this sphere of influence. So, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. All right, he is now cultivating. Excellent. So far, so good. Everything is working out. All right, so let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit to give these time to get built to give him time to get done with his cultivation. Now remember, uh, in fact, if you, you may not have noticed it before, where is it at? Uh, Multi-harvest crop, meaning that it's gonna, you're gonna get multi, uh, multiple harvest throughout the season, so it's not just one time per year. And then it's a perennial plant, meaning that we shouldn't have to replant this. All right, now he's gonna be ready to fertilize. Uh, and the one bad thing is we need a, uh, let's see, where was it? Warehouses, manure storage. Let's go ahead and put one of those right there. And yeah, that should be perfect uh, because it seems, and I haven't, you know, gone through and really verified this, but I believe we're using sort of a super storage uh, option, meaning that if you've got something in this warehouse, it doesn't necessarily have to fit in this warehouse. It just needs to be in a warehouse, and then you can go to any warehouse and pull it out or add to it. That seems to be the way this is working. All right, so right now, uh, he is... All right, he's going home right there. You can see him. He's headed back to the house to rest, would be my guest. Okay, no electricity there. Well, let's take care of that. And Oh, yeah, look at that. Just, just outside it. All right, so I'm not going to get too cute here. I'm just simply going to put one down. There's going to be overlap, but we're going to let that... We're going to let that ride for right now. And just go with it. Okay, what else did we need? 
All right, we're going to hold off on the trailer. We're going to get the sprayer and the mower. Let's go ahead and grab those from the market. Uh, well, there's the mower right there. Let's go ahead and grab that one again. We're doing everything new and we're not leasing anything. Uh, let's see, garage three. And oh, this one only takes up one slot. Uh, well, let's put it right here, right up next to the door. And let's get the spreader. So apparently, basically what we need is just one of everything we've got in here. Is what it's kind of starting to look like. There it is, sprayer. And okay, none of these are terribly expensive. Uh, garage three. Yeah, three. All right. We'll plop down both of those in there. Okay, what's next? Oop, not electricity. No, we don't want that. We want to get, and I noticed we've got an error message. We'll come back to that. Because uh, he's probably saying I don't have any fertilizer. And so he's fussing at us. So we need a wind rower and then the self-loading trailer. Got it. All right, let's go ahead and do the wind rower. And I think we can put this in here. Yeah. Wind rower can go in there. And then the self-loading trailer is probably going to have to go outside. It's probably going to be too big, but we're going to try to fit it in there if we can. Can we fit it in there? Uh, no, it, you can see it needs three slots. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put it over here. And we'll do that. Okay. So we've got our mechanic here. And all right, so he's got plenty within his radius. We're good to go there. We've got our manure and slurry right there. Okay. I think before we get into our error message, we've got everything but the trailer with water. And all right, yep, there we go. There's the error message before we even click on it. Fertilizer spreader. Man, so it will not use that? Like, I really, really want to use our fertilizer. Okay, but at least for right now, I don't think that's going to happen. All right, so let's just get it. All right, so let's get the spreader. Is there no way? I, just, I mean, you can tell I really want to use our own our own uh, manure. I mean, we've got plenty of it here on the farm. Uh, parking, let's see, what do we want to use? Garage 3? Can I put this in 3? Yeah, I can. And I'm going to spin this around. I can't tell by looking at it which side is which. Uh, but I think I got it the right way. I don't know. It, it, like I said before, it, it doesn't matter. All right, so now we don't have any fertilizer, but this guy is, you can see him. Here he comes, right here. Let's scroll in. Here comes our guy. And okay, so we have a fertilizer spreader, but we have no fertilizer. Let's come back in. So it shows right here what each one uses and this guy right here only uses the the chemical fertilizer so what is he about to do this ought to be interesting uh, because he ought not have anything available to him so he's got the tractor okay we still got one complete empty there and one more slot for something small there so he's here he grabs the fertilizer spreader I'm expecting an error message that says, hey, you don't have any chemical fertilizer. But as of yet, I haven't seen anything. All right, so our guy's got that. He's going here. Okay, that's where he would have picked up the fertilizer. And he's fertilizing? Seriously? I have no idea how that's working unless there is something that grants him the ability to purchase what he needs automatically. I'm going to have to assume that that's what happened because clearly you can see he's fertilizing. It tells us he is and then of course we can see that he is and then also uh, the work shows that he is. This is very odd to me. So, 
it would appear as though he's doing everything he needs to do. Now, that water tank, I don't think we need it, but I'm going to go ahead and get one. Uh, and the reason I'm going to go ahead and get one is because, oh wow, that is huge. Okay, that takes up a lot of room. Uh, let's go ahead and, yikes, this is just going to make a mess of it. All right, let's put it, since it doesn't appear as though you actually need access to anything as far as, you know, the front part to leave or the doors up here. It doesn't seem as any of that matters. So we'll just put it down right there. But right now, water is looking very good. But I just kind of want to get all of these taken care of that it's asking for, just in case. Okay, so now he's done. And we've got our icon here that's telling me that it needs what? Okay, well, right now it says no machine. That's because he's putting that up. And let's see what he grabs next. He should get the cedar unless he's got to go rest. All right, boom. He pulls up over there. And nope, he's putting it up. So that means that, yep, he's going back here to rest. Where is he saying he is going to the house? Yep, he is going to the house. So what I should have done, I actually need this house like right here. That's what I actually need because this is wasting so much time. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. So no seasonal employees to this point have been needed. All right, I'm going to have this and we're going to point it toward our road. Okay. Now the good news here is that there's room for eight people in here and we've only got one. So let's go ahead and fast forward. Uh, actually, I just noticed something. It looks like our, our training is done. Uh, so we need to get some more training. Now we've been doing the training that reduces the price of our buildings. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on with reducing the price of the buildings for 10 grand. It'll take us 30 days, and then we'll make a decision on what we're going to do uh, next. That is, if I can remember to keep a glance on this over here. All right, so it looks like our guy here is now, he's got the seed drill. He is planting. Now, remember, because grass is a perennial plant, as it's telling us right here, none of these first, let's see, four should we have to do? We shouldn't have to uh, do any of these each and every year. We should just, the grass will simply grow uh, once winter is over. In fact, you can see right now, in fact, what is this? Is that water? What is that? I can't tell what that is. And this would, should be the uh, spraying for insects, pesticides, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then this, I'm assuming, is water which should not be an issue, but I don't really know what that is right off the top of my head. Uh, you can see here, our, the health is doing pretty good there. Water also doing very nice. Our grass is growing. And all right, let's go ahead and take our guy. What's the name of this one? 18. And not sure why that just happened. I must have clicked in just the wrong spot. Let's get our guy. And where are you? Relocate to number 18. All right, so now he should be headed, if we watch him here for just a second, he should head, okay, yeah, because it doesn't show anybody's in here right now. Uh, we'll save this. This could be very good uh, moving forward, but it'll probably be once we expand enough that we probably put down, uh, get more equipment, and storage and that kind of thing over in this area. So we'll leave it there. There are definitely possibilities for it. Did our guy go in? Yeah, okay. So he's there. He's going to get better. You can see right now our error message says, hey, we don't have enough staff. So the real question ends up being, oh, there he is. Do How many staff do we want to have available? Because what we could do is have at least two staff per field and that way, while this guy is resting, we can have the next guy 
do the job. Um, so we could do two per field. It's going to spend more money and ultimately it's not really going to matter, I don't think. Uh, but who knows? You know, we'll see how things go. But our guy's going to get in here and you can see he's going to rest. He's going to take care of that. So right now I'm thinking a second person is a good idea. So let's go ahead and get a couple because next thing I want to do is uh, get another field. But So two people will definitely come in handy. Now, endurance and machines, I like that. I like this a lot. Now, it doesn't have the crops. But I think this will allow us to speed up how quickly they work. So I'm okay with that. And again, having a little bit less yield on the crops isn't the worst thing. I mean, granted, we got plenty of money coming in. So I think we're going to take that off and put you in... Is that the one I want? I can't ever remember the number. Yeah, 18. So let's go ahead and get you in there. And then, of course, endurance and machines. I will take that. Yeah, I will take that. So that's going to give us two people that can share the load. You can see there she goes immediately. She's headed over to Garage 1 because I believe... Yeah, she's getting the sprayer. So she's going to take care of all of these things. And I've checked the box for anti-weed, insect, and fungus. Now, which of these she's spraying for right now, I don't know. But you can see she's got the tractor. I assume she's coming right down here to get the sprayer. Yep, there we go. Sprayer, and let's see if it gives us an idea of what she is spraying for. Because it looks like that this is what she's actually doing. But now I'm just, I'm excited to find out what she's actually spraying for. Okay, so she comes by over here, which would indicate to me that she's purchasing, or at least filling up. Uh, she is spraying for, I don't know what. Okay, here, here we go. And I do believe this is water because you can see it's completely full, which would indicate to me that it's not needed because it certainly hasn't been done. So all of that makes sense. And so she is spraying, is it possible that she's spraying for all of it at one time? I have no idea, but we're just going to let her do her job. And unfortunately, that is about all the time we have for today as we spray some nice chemical all over the road here for everybody to pick up as they go by. So how about this? We get our very first field, which is a quite a large field. By the way, that's a pretty good sized field, but with our machines, it takes absolutely no time at all to get done with it. And for this one field, we ended up with a lot of storage we put down. We now need a mechanic. We need some other storage for not only people, but we need a barn, we need all sorts of stuff just for one field. Now the good news is as we continue to expand with more fields, uh, we won't have to get more of all of these. But yeah, it took a lot of infrastructure up front to get started with some field work. And right now, I have no idea what the yield is going to be with this grass. I know we got 36 days before they can come in to uh, get our first our first grass from it, but uh, how many more grass fields do we need? Who knows? And that is part of the fun. But for today, uh, we got done exactly what I was hoping to get done. We sort of worked our way through this in a very blind man in the dark kind of way, but we made it happen. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me and stick around for more gameplay of Farm Manager 21.